yeah <clears throat> welcome back to database training in our last session we created a stored processor okay so in which we handle even the exceptions let me open the processor which we created yesterday so under programmability under stored processors we find it this is what add new category here click on the modify the procedure definition appears for us here okay so this is what the procedure which we created yesterday now here instead of having alter yesterday we make we use create since procedure is created existing procedure we are trying to modify so here this time i would like to modify it fine so here even we use the try catch blocks we use the here try catch blocks in which we are seeing error message the error number error severity we are getting like this okay so error message you have error number we have error severity also we have in this now i want to introduce here some concepts like error message similarly error number and error severity also i want to get i mean uh, I, i want to return even procedure name also error procedure name also i would like to get okay so instead of printing here i would like to see them with the parameters with parameters i want to send it outside now here what do you exactly here i i can get i am getting here print messages with print it's getting printed whenever there are any errors these are shown error message is shown error number is shown error severity is shown when developer is using this so when developer is running with the, uh, this processor the errors can be seen in this ssms console so in this sql server management studio window the messages you can see error message error number and error severity we see there but whenever you work with a application that may be a windows application or web application with that when you interact with the database so at the time these are not shown because print command works only with the ssms window only with this ssms query analyzer window the print command works so it does not work with the application i mean suppose you have web application from web application from web page you are getting connected to database when you execute this processor at the time this print statements do not work whenever there are exceptions so instead instead of printing these you have to send back to the calling program your web application is a calling program we can call it as caller and this sql server is going to be a callee this particular procedure can be called as a callee this is going to be server and your application is going to be client client is going to be calling this processor so the client should get the appropriate messages if the processor is not working as we expect what is the reason it has to know there so therefore here i add extra parameters like error message error number error severity i would like to add but this time i am going to use them as default values With default values i do it i am going to use them with the default values so when here there are no exceptions what will happen he, they, they will not be populated whatever value we had same will be appearing for us there so therefore here we use the default values for that we use here the default value you can add a default value with the parameters okay so it is not going to be yes let, let me now add more parameters and one more thing actually here i just want to see error procedure
what procedure is actually causing problem I can find out error procedure I can find out so here I can be finding out actually the error procedure also okay this is going to be a function this I am going to use here I am going to use that fine so where these functions are available you can see here expand the functions when you expand functions here you have like scalar valued functions so there are no predefined system functions are available here so these are predefined functions all these are nothing but system uh, predefined system functions here now expand other functions in the other functions probably we get them error message okay so there is nothing like that here there is no error message function probably here we have with the um, security functions it's not security function okay other under other functions also we don't get it fine uh, it's going to be say not cursor function it is metadata functions also I think it's wrong here okay so here therefore um, we try to text and image functions system statistical functions we have here so related to statistics only so here hierarchy ID functions we have configuration functions here also you cannot get so with the try catch block we have this Mm, fine so if you come with the table valid functions it is not available with aggregate also it is not available for us Fine. So here I am going to add more variables there, more, more parameters. I put here at the rate, followed by here, want to include this way error message. I can put like this. This is what error message output. We give like this. Similarly, add error number. This is also here. Type of data must be error message must be here. Var cap. So var cap. I want to put up to some. This I want to make like uh, so 4096 up to 4 kb. I would like to give. And this error number I want to use for this integer. I just want to split this into next line that would be really better I split into next line here then here it is INT then output uh, output this is okay this I want to make as here output I'm going to send badges back to this so here this is output now one more thing is error severity even that is also a number error severity is also going to be a number you can just send it at error CVRP. so this is going to be again int output next thing is going to be processor name we use here the processor name so what processor is actually causing this error we can find out here we use processor name next one ok that is nothing but error processor here we can find out Let's write here at the rate error procedure. 
So this is here var cap. Again, I want to use up to 4096. Okay. Then this one is also output. Even this parameter also going to be output parameter. Break into next line here. Then put comma. After that, try to write this as here error severity. So we now make the error severity already made. Error processor we are writing here. So next one is going to be an in uh, error state. But otherwise these three are enough for us. We take up to this much. And this is what exactly output. Now here in this, instead of printing here, I can go with say I'm going to be specifying like this. I can specify here in the place of say error message just try to add here set what I do here set at error msg equal to error message next thing here Set at error number like this. We put the next thing is here error severity. We take. Set like this we put. Okay, so here this is going to be sending them outside. It's going to be sending actually the the values to the caller. Caller is going to caller is going to get here all this information. Error message, error number, error severity, the caller will get. Okay, so this is what we have altered here. We have now four out parameters total. We have up to four output parameters here. We are passing them back. Now just try to once again execute this. So let us execute. Check for syntax. After that, execute. So we have modified the procedure. Procedure has been modified now. Procedure is modified. Now you can actually invoke the procedure. To insert new data, we can invoke this. Okay, so we can be invoking this processor. Now, suppose you want to write here, you, you want to execute. Here, write exec. Okay, but before that, you should have here, you should have the parameters. Output parameters are must. We need to have, therefore, output parameters. Here, first of all, declare. Declare. Add error msg var cap 4096. This is empty string. Declare add error num. This one is int equal to I just want to pass here a null value. I can just pass here a null value for this. So similarly declare at error severity. I want to use here error This is int equal to we put this as null. So like this here we have written we have written here three variables. We declare three variables. Now let us invoke this. And one more thing we require here at msg var cap how much we kept here. For this we kept 100. 
vector of 100 we kept here. So this also empty string like this we need to make it. Then try to invoke now exec followed by here we pass the we, we invoke the processor. So processor invocation we can do like this. Put here usb underscore add new category we add like this followed by we need to pass parameters very first parameter is what exactly for us here the very first parameter is going to be cat name we need to specify category name category name is this time okay yesterday we added automotives okay then today pharma related let us try to add pharma we put here after that super cat id this is going to be top level therefore i put null for this next thing is what msg so i put here at msg i should write here output okay i need to write output followed by here it should be error message so error message is going to be at err err msg we can put here err o msg we need to put here then this is also what output come to this then write here error number so this we need to take then even this one also write as output this is also nothing but output parameter error number next thing is here what error severity so here I think in the code we haven't specified the processor name so we don't have any processor name in this therefore here try to add the code for that here inside this we write processor name also write set at processor name equal to here it is error processor we can make a function like call like this it's going to be error processor we made it now here we should be adding it we should add even the error processor so the parameter we added on the top and here also we need to declare one more variable for error processor declare at error proc or processor here it is back at how much I take here 4096 I would like to put that may be somewhat bigger so therefore like this I use now here once again I need to compile this again I need to compile this so here up to this I should be once again compiling then execute it now here after passing error output next thing is what error severity we need to take here take this and put the error severity here at error severity sorry what happened mm -hmm. then this is here output similarly next thing is here error procedure also we should take so here make put it then write output so here again we are writing some anonymous code block in the code block we are executing processor okay so when there are no errors what happens everything works fine therefore you need to check here if error number not equal to num, null if right here at error num otherwise write like this if at error num equal to equal to if it is null so what we write therefore we start begin then we go with end display the error messages so here in the tsql i am handling this code but when you write the code in the say required application the application may be java application or it may be c, uh, say c sharp application it can be any application so in those application depending on the parameter values we need to handle code here 
for testing purpose the TLSQL with TSQL only I'm adding this code but whenever you work with any programming language like say C sharp or VB.NET or it is Java any other programming language so from that uh, languages application you are going to call this processor so at the time you need to handle them properly here I am checking like this if at error num it equal to null in such cases I would like to print print error message okay I should use only single quote I should not use double quotes print error message I put like this give a space then put a plus here followed by at err msg I add like this okay similarly print next thing is what here error number now here take plus followed by at here we need to write like this str of at error num like this we should write here okay we are going to write like this here the next thing is what error severity is what exactly we need to print here so error severity we need to print here in this now print error severity plus str at error severity put like this next after that error procedure we take okay we just come to this the right here error procedure we write this as here error procedure so this will be but str is not required in this we need not convert anything that way here you can just take at followed by error procedure you can just copy and paste in this so this way we can do it so else we write like this else it is print at msg like this we write it so print at msg now when you execute this you are going to get appropriate I mean messages in that here see pharma I am trying to add then so this is uh, msg's output uh, msg equal to I kept actually initially now that is null uh, it's going to be empty string and similarly I am trying to add the say super cat id is null because second argument is what here super cat id so without super cat id I am trying to make it that means what I am trying to enter a top level category very top level category I am trying to add check for syntax after that execute it says one row affected we are getting message like this one row affected one row affected message we are getting like this but see whenever it is executing like this it is going to send back as such kind of messages in order to stop such messages we need to use actually set no count on so in the procedure therefore what I do either in the procedure or somewhere here I can do it right set no count on I put like this set no count on once again I try to execute this so but this time instead of using pharma I try to use like electronic devices try to put this I want to make this as electronic devices now here execute it you don't have any messages this time since you are using here set no count on even this is going to be reducing actually client traffic client traffic will be reduced even with this so this way you can use set no count on when you use set no count on what will happen exactly it's going to suppress such messages so traffic I mean uh, network traffic will not be increasing with that so therefore this way we could add now there are no errors in this category added successfully message we are getting now suppose again you try to I mean in, uh, enter uh, electronic devices what will happen see in this 
Suppose I don't use set no count on, with this I try to do it. Here it says category could not be added. It's saying that we cannot add the category. Error number is not going to be null in such cases here. It's saying that category could not be added. Why it is so? See in this. If you look at the code, if you look at the code, what happens? If it is, if row count is greater than or equal to 1, then in such cases, here it says category added successfully. Else it says category name cannot be empty string like that it says. Similarly, okay. So here similarly, category could not be added message, we are sending it. Now here, error number is not equal to null here. It's going to be null. Error number is null, I think. Because of that, it is happening this way. So here, are we setting anything like error number, set at error message, error number, then error severity, error procedure. So when we try to do like that, so it's not displaying any error messages. And here, it's giving us this kind of message. Message is what here exactly? The uh, here category could not be added that message we are getting we are going to get such message with that now here once again let us try to print just error number here what will happen see so just go with print followed by add error number okay add error number so here i have done some mistake if it equal to null then in such cases i am writing this it's not null so if it is not equal to null. So if error number is not equal to null in such cases, the error message I should get. When it, when it is equal to null, that means there are no errors. So when there are no errors in such cases, it should be firing this message. Now again I try to execute here. What will happen? See, category could not be added, it says here. Error number, if this is not equal to null in such cases, we need to get this. Error number equal to what I kept? I kept it as null only. If this is not equal to null, then it should be executing this. It should be executing this. So here, in the processor, I think I must change it. So in the processor, I must change or... <coughs> okay. Error number I am getting there. So if error number, here it is, error number, if you look at this, error number is being passed into add error number. Okay, so at error number, it's passing actually. And here, whenever I pass error number, is it output? Yes, I set it as actually error num. Okay, when I print here, error num, if it's not equal to null, it should display. So let us try to print, print right here, at error num. So anyhow, just try to convert this into string and try to print it. STR we use, then with this STR we try to print it. Go to this, then select and execute. 2627 it's saying, but it should display this message. If error number not equal to null, in such cases it should print this. But error number is what exactly? It is now not equal to null. It's not equal to null, therefore it has to print all these messages. These messages must be getting printed for us but they are not getting printed here. Print str at error number. Error number is set to 2627 here. This is going to be 2627. So therefore, it should print but not getting printed here. If it if at error num not equal to null, we have written. Okay, so it should come to begin and it should be printing this, but it's just printing actually here MSG for us. It's only printing for us MSG. So error number is here, error number, int equal to null we kept here and with this procedure with this procedure it's going to be assigning the error number there error number is getting assigned in such cases okay so it says category could not be added but error number is going to be here 2627 we are getting the error number as here 2627 therefore this should fire here it should be firing for us if an error num not equal to null it's not equal to null so instead of using not equal to null i should use this operator is not null, I have to write. If error number is not null, so with that operator, we can do, we cannot compare null. So with this now, it's going to be working properly. Execute. This, it says now. It is actually, it is do, it's going to do here, it's going to show us the violation of unique key here. Unique constraint here getting violated. So due to that, 
it could not actually insert data because electronic devices should come only once more than once it's coming because of that it is actually unable to insert data so with equal to null you cannot use so you should use here is not null so if it is not null in such cases it's going to be getting inserted now here remove this here what i write i would like something different this time i just want to go with the batteries this is one category i'm trying to set it now here let me execute so it says category inserted category added successfully message so like this you can be using the errors error message error processor okay once again i try to add batteries this time again i get error here if you look at this it's showing you the error message error number error severity and one more thing is what error processor usp underscore add new category we know that 0 to i mean 0 to 10 are actually warnings then 11 to 16 are going to be the errors which occur in your code so in our code only the error is so 12 we don't use then 17 to 24 17 to 24 they are going to be 17 to 24 they are going to be actually resource related resource or internal hardware problem they are going to be critical in fact they may close the connection sometimes with the close connection so like this you can handle the errors you can find out errors here with the help of error number error message okay so these are going to be exceptions so exceptions whenever exceptions take place the numbers can be from 0 to 25 we can get the CDRT can be from 0 to 25 CDRT is going to be 0 to 25 error number is different CDRT is different CDRT 0 to 10 is called as warning and level to 16 is called as actually TSPL problems, TSPL code errors and 17 to 25 are called as actually uh, they are called as resource related problems or hardware problems or internal problems so these may cause actually uh, the connection to be getting terminated Con connection may be getting terminated whenever the CDRT is in the range from 17 to 25 so this way the procedures they are going to be working for us so here we are using the add new category procedure we try to insert batteries so i mean already since it's available it cannot add for us let us try to select data from the given table now what happens see select star from what table that is tbl category like this we now try to select data from that it's showing here so many like stationary textbooks, automotives, engine oils, pharma, electronic devices, batteries, these are shown for us. All these are going to be different types of categories. We have here different categories. But in between 1013 and 1018, we have so much gap. See, since the category ID is actually identity element, so what happens exactly? Before insertion is taking place, the identity element is created identity element is generated there identity number is generated so if insertion is failing successful i mean if it's insertion is failing so in such cases it will not be reverting back so therefore what happens the increased value will be like that only subsequent operation also going to increase by one so this way what is happening we have tried to we, we failed actually four times from 10,013 to 10,018 sorry 1,013 to 1,018 so we attempted four times 1014, 1015, 1016, 1017. So, four attempts were not successful. Okay. So, but fifth attempt was successful. Those four attempts were actually unsuccessful attempts we made. Anyhow, whether it's successful or not transaction, the identity element will be getting incremented there. Identity value will be incremented. So, because of that, here we have so much gap. 1013 to 1018, we have actually here a gap of four numbers. So, four numbers gap we have 1014 is missing, 15 is missing, 16 is missing, 17 is missing. We have a gap of four numbers in between 13 to 18. So, here this is what it's a procedure with the help of that you are trying to insert data. So, the data insertion may be successful or it may be failure. If you try to enter same data again and again, so it may not be getting inserted. Same data meaning here it is category name. Category name is what unique. If you try to enter same name again in some other row, in such cases, the data will not be accepted. Similarly, if you don't give the category name at all, that means empty string if you try to provide in such case also, it will not accept. 
Okay, so when you give a unique value at the time without any problems, it gets actually inserted in the database table. So here we use different parameters. Parameters are what here? First thing is, if you look at this, first one is here, category name, super category ID, then this is here, message, then error message, error number, error severity, error procedure. So error message, error number, error severity, error procedure, we get for the values from the underlying functions. Error message is system function, error number is system function, error severity is also system function, error procedure is also a system function. So from there we are getting them. Similarly, here we have one more variable called as message at MSG we have written. So this we are manipulating in this. Whenever row count is greater than or equal to 1, that means what successfully we inserted data. So we write here set at MSG equal to category added successfully. And if it is not greater than or equal to 1, in such cases what we write category name cannot be empty string because depending on this only it is if length of entry at cat name greater than 0. So in such cases what we do we try to insert data. Okay. So if row count is greater than or equal to 1, it's going to be category added successfully message we get. So when do we come into else spot? Whenever the length of the cat name is less than z less than 1. So it may be equal to 0. When it's empty string, it's going to be equal to 0. So in such cases we come to this point. Okay, if the length of the string, if it's greater than say 0, I mean I'm not just saying empty spaces, it should not be having empty spaces. Leading space are also will be removed in this. So if you have a string with characters that will be added to the that will be added to the database table. So in such cases, row count greater than can be greater than or equal to 1. So therefore, it's going to display that message. But due to some reason, you may give valid string, still that can't be entered into the database table. So in such cases, we come into this part, catch part. So what is the scenario where exactly it can be problem? So whenever you try to give a category name, it is already existing in the database table. So in such cases, you face a problem. So therefore, the catch block is going to handle such exceptions. In the catch block, they are going to be catching the exception. So at the time, it's setting actually all these output parameters. Error message is the output parameter. Error number is a parameter. Error severity is going to be output parameter. Error procedure is also output parameter. And MSD is also output parameter. But in multiple places, we are assigning value for this. In the try catch block, we put similarly, we put with the say, I mean, uh, in the else part. Here also we are using, and when after inserting data also, we are using it. So in multiple times, different values we are setting with the MSG. So this is what is a procedure we have written with five default parameter, uh, with, with five output parameters. And the other two are going to be just input parameters. We use two input parameters and five output parameters. So whenever you write code like this, you try to put here this message. The message is going to be set no countdown. Try to set in the procedure always. Remove there and try to put here set no countdown. So we put here after begin, we can keep like this here set no countdown. So if you keep set no countdown, what will happen? The traffic will be reduced to the client. Traffic is going to be getting reduced to the client if you put that particular thing. Okay, so here this is going to be, and here I just, okay. So this is the procedure we created. Let us try to alter this. Up to this we come, then execute. So command completed successfully that has been altered for us. It is altered now. So this procedure tries to insert data into the database table. That will be successful or failure. So I mean, whenever you don't, whenever you don't keep, whenever you don't pass a string, um, with I mean, um, whenever you don't pass proper string, proper string in the sense, if you see, simply send spaces, it will not accept. So at that time, it says the category name should be more than one. Uh, it should be greater than or equal to one character. The length of the character, at least there should be one character in the category name. So like that message we get. So here what it says. Category name cannot be empty string. So string should not be empty. It should contain characters like that message you get. Similarly, due to duplicate value, the row may not be added. In such cases, it comes into the error. So into the error part it comes, we are going to catch the exception there. Similarly, 
if it is added successfully, it gives a message category added successfully. So like this, this procedure is going to be working. This procedure is going to work in that day. So here the user actually set no countdown. With the help of set no countdown, it does not display messages. It's not going to be setting, I mean displaying messages. Prior to this, whenever you were trying to insert data, one row affected, one row affected, like that we got messages. No such messages you cannot see here. It's because we are using here set no countdown. So what happens with this? Messages will not be simply sent to the client. So with this performance improves because network traffic will be getting reduced. So there will not be burden on the network. Okay. So like this the processor is going to be working in this example here. So this is basically a processor alteration. We alter processor, this state is working. Okay. Next thing is going to be creating processors in the parameters. Okay, with default parameters, we try to name it. Let us look into the adventure works table. We come into adventure works table uh, database. So in this adventure works database, we try to look into person table here. We have a table called as person table. So in this person table, we have columns like this. One of the columns is what here? What are the columns available in this? So we have here a person type, person name, title, first name, we have like this. Okay. Sometimes you can be passing a title and sometimes you may not be passing. Let us see how many we have with title and without title. Now here see, select top 1000 rows. Now this is going to show data like this. We have here title as null many times. So when we don't specify a title, what should happen? People who do, who do not have any title, their data should come. Okay, their data must be coming. Okay, similarly if you pass a title, with that only it should come. So that way we should write a processor. Now here open the database. Adventure works we open now here in this. Now come into this piece of code here. When we come into this piece of code, then here let us try to see data from the adventure works. If you look at this, here you can see the data like this. We have a first name, we have middle name, we have last name, then similarly, sometimes title is missing, sometimes you have MS, sometimes you have MR, like this, title is sometimes available, sometimes it's not available. So when title you pass, it should display. When you don't pass title, even in such case also, it should be displayed. But when you don't pass title, it has to display like this. Whatever null values you have, that should be getting displayed. But whenever you pass title either MS or MR, such particular data only should be getting retrieved. Now try to here write the processor. Come into this, then here write a processor. Create processor. Write it as USB followed by what do you write? Mm, I want to write here retrie, uh, get person data like this I write here followed by I just want to pass only one parameter I want to pass exactly just one parameter the parameter name is, name is going to be here title here write parameter is going to be a title we use this way we are going to write it as a title this is going to be the parameter name it is here n bar care of how much I write 8 I am going to write here 
and that care of eight and go to right here by default i can put this as here null i can assign a null value here then followed by as begin you write we write like this begin then write set no countdown after that try to select data right select start from what is the table name here person dot person person dot person where So here, this is going to be with the default. This is going to be with the default value. So here, we are passing default value as null. Now here, select start from person dot person where we should write here title. We should write this as title here. Title <coughs> equal to here. Write it as a title. This way, we try to select data. A title equal to title we write then followed by at the end we should write here end like this we created a procedure create procedure usp underscore get person data at title and that care of eight equal to null as here then begin set no count on select star from person dot person get title equal to a title we make like this then here check for syntax and execute so what happened with this the procedure is created now let me execute this what I do here, I just write like this exec followed by usp underscore get person data. If I make like this, then execute. When I execute, it should display all those records whose title is null. Okay. So here, when I put like this, nothing is coming here in this exec usp underscore get person data so here when i put like this select star from person dot person where title equal to a title i have written so this is not showing anything here now next time what i do i can pass this way i am going to pass here title here in, in this way i try to put i just try to put here ms like this ms i am going to put then try to execute this time it is showing actually all the ms wherever title is ms it's going to display that way so what we do exactly here we are trying to pass sometimes a null value we are trying to assign here a null value so when i pass a null value here it's not showing anything not showing anything where 
tidal equal to you can't have null where tidal is tidal is null you need to write you need to modify the procedure then it works now here similarly ms in the place of ms we put actually mr here i can put mr with that what happens execute this so it is showing only mr in this now but when you keep null it's not working therefore let us modify the procedure so for that we need to make it alter procedure we make it alter alter procedure usp underscore get person data a title and their care of eid equal to null we set then here try to write the code if condition we write if what do we write exactly a title is null therefore what we write select start from person dot person where title is null like this we need to write else we write here select start from person dot person where title equal to here write at the rate title like this we need to put here we are going to alter the procedure with this code just execute it now here remove this parameter try to execute this you can get data this time wherever title is null they are getting displayed but if you pause here parameter as ms it's going to display here some different data displaying like this all the title ms similarly take here mr then execute so title mr is getting execute i mean displayed i mean uh, here ms is also getting displayed here whenever it is null even this is getting displayed this is called as here default parameter default value for the parameter is specified here that means when you don't put any parameter automatically with the default value it's going to be displaying we created a procedure with the default value now i am not passing any parameter just execute it it's going to display the title with null so like this here what is happening exactly we wrote a procedure in this procedure we are passing uh, with this procedure we are adding a parameter the parameter is n var char type and by default its value is going to be null whenever you execute procedure at the time if you don't pass title it's going to display data like this okay but whenever you pass here a parameter along with this procedure so whatever value you keep in the parameter that with that it's going to be displaying here we have written exec esp underscore get person data then if you specify here mr it, mr it's going to be getting displayed just select and execute with mr data it is going to be getting displayed so like this the procedures are going to be working here this is what it's a default parameter and at the top with the first procedure we have input parameters output parameters and here we handle the exceptions also with try catch block so this is the session for today tomorrow we will with more